what did you, on that, I guess, what did you make of really what Caleb and the offense was able to do? Um, Just hold on, hold on a second. Oh, yeah, sure, go ahead. Oh, here they go. I'm going wait for my local guys. Hey, oh, right. <laughs> Calls it Ryan. Good. Okay, go ahead, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm just, what, what were your impressions of what Caleb was able to do to start that game? And didn't get a touchdown, but, you know, some of the passes we completed and just how it looked. Yeah, just overall, we really wanted this, uh, to take this opportunity to get, you know, in the process and have a really good plan in place for the reps we wanted to get. And, uh, Obviously, a good job on third down, you know, completing that pass to DJ, and then making some explosives there, and and getting into the red zone, and and we stalled out there, and it was fourth and four, I believe, at the end, so we ended up kicking it. But uh, I thought overall, in the pocket, you know, protected the football, um, had a consistent performance, and uh, now we got to learn from this and get better. You know, what we did well is is very good, and what we need to improve on. And I told the team. Um, you know, in the in the uh, locker room there, that we got to level up. You know, I challenged them last week to be able to get better um, as a whole group, individually, you know, and, and collectively, and, and they did that. And we had to do it again because uh, we don't have time not not to improve. So there's got to be a sense of urgency in our building. And the biggest game was the, the screen to Swift. What did you see from Caleb on that play, and really from the whole unit and getting that thing to work? Yeah, just his ability that we see, and you know, you saw, you guys have seen it at practice. His ability to get the ball out of his hands really fast when pressure arrives. Um, and that happens sometimes on those screens. So I thought he did a really nice job, you know, you know, getting the ball to him cleanly. And obviously, Swift is a guy that can really is dynamic and really, uh, really got a lot of good speed. And he's just got to kick his feet up at the end there. When you guys have the play action, you rolled right. You had two men on the deep over. Yeah. Uh, his ability to pump fake to buy himself a second and then to throw a strike and come to dead run. And I know you've seen it in practice. Right. Seeing it in, in the game, what did you feel when you saw it? No, I thought it was really good. Um, he did a nice job of, of coming out of the fake with speed, um, which you need to do. And the guys ran their route depths correctly, and they ran with speed too. So they, they, you know, they stayed open. A lot of times when you're doing those keepers, you know, you're running away from leverage on defense. So you really got to maintain that speed. And Cole did that on that play, and then, you know, Caleb did a nice job of striking it in there. Is that something that's taught or kind of inherent? No, that's taught. That's the read, yeah. He, he did a nice job going through his progression there. Bates wasn't out there today. Is he dealing with an injury issue? Right, Bates. No, it's just something that he's had, you know, uh, from before. But he's fine. He'll be fine uh, looking in this week. So, like I said, it's a big week. We'll have tomorrow will be a walkthrough uh, setting to get the corrections, get cleaned up, really do a good job of looking at this game. And uh, like I said, learning from it. And then when the players will have a day off to get ready for this big week we have. We have a couple practices, and then we have the joint practice on Thursday, and then a walkthrough again on Friday and another game. So it's going to be a big week for us to level up. Matt, what impressed you about Caleb on third down? I think the first completion of DJ was third down, and then the third and nine strike. Yeah, the poise in the pocket, being able to ride the pocket there, keep two hands on it uh, when he was in the pocket, and then throw a strike. Um, really good job by DJ coming back to the football, too, on that one. So it was, uh, it was both, and the protection was solid. Now, what do you think about Caleb on that, on that play too? Just you, you talked about the way he battles back in camp, but you know to have that first play obviously didn't go as well as he would have wanted to be in that third and long for him to kind of have the poise to just make the play. Yeah, I think it's good for him. You know, it's the fruits of his labor. He's been working his tail off for 15 practices. You know, and then you know even before that, all through the summer. So it's good to be able to say, hey, all this drill work, all the things that I've been doing, it's paying off, and I can see the improvements. You know, and he's we're going to look at this tape and then look back and say, hey. What can I learn from this? You know, there's a lot of things that we can learn uh, from this process of getting these reps, as he does in practice when he's going against the one defense. You guys talked about watching Austin finish in game situations. When you see what he did today, and you've watched him throw through camp, what are you seeing in his his ascent right now? Yeah, I, his ability to move surprises me. You know, his ability to move in the pocket, you know, and adjust his arm angle uh, to deliver good good strikes um, is really impressive, and uh, he's exciting to watch. How do you feel about your D line now? Booker and Hardy having a good day coming yeah. off a pretty good Yeah, those guys got to ascend, right? Those guys, you know, got to show that they can do it, in the, you know, with the big guys. And uh, so that's that's part of it, you know. And they're they're doing a good job with one on ones when they go against our starters. Uh, but it was good to see them today. They'll get some production for sure. Again, we're we're down a couple guys right now, so it's uh, it'll be good to hopefully get those guys back soon as, as possible. Bayless around the edge a couple times, but also yeah. up the middle, which is a whole different world for him. What do you think of his? Uh, performance this first game. I thought it was positive. I mean, we all saw it. It was positive. You know, he did a nice job uh, of really getting north 
and you saw his, his you know, he's got really good lean mass and he's a physical player and you can see him really dent in that, you know, the, the tackles to fall forward for those positive yards to really gain those hidden yards on our, on our, in our favor. So, um, you know, he's been good back there. You talked about this being a week to week thing. Yep. You going to give it another week? Yeah, I'll talk to Chad and, and Shane, and we'll we'll get together here in the next couple of days, and we'll figure that out going into uh, the, the Tuesday practice. I was asking about the other Austin Booker and, and defensively and his ability to get after the quarterback, and just what you've seen there over the last few weeks. Good, you know, it's good. You know, it's what we saw. You know, coming out, he's got a really good slip, a really good natural uh, ability to rush the passer with speed and not predetermine what he's going to do ahead of time. I think that stresses the uh, offensive tackles out. When a guy doesn't predetermine or shuffle his feet, it just shows that speed to power or the speed and spin inside. And I know the, the out and out uh, moves that he likes to do, so it's been good. What did you like about uh, Baskerville's big play? He scored. He scored. You know, he's, he got some good speed there. He kicked his feet up at the end and uh, had a nice read on that. It's good. I know you guys feel like you're having a good camp, but, but is there a different level of excitement when you see Caleb go do something in a game set? Just, is there a proof of concept? Yeah, there's there? certainly positivity there, and we're not going to squash that. You know, I just I do feel that we have a lot of work to do. You know, we have a lot of things to accomplish as a football team, uh, not just Caleb. You know, we all got to play good around him. So it's important that we keep improving uh, before that first game.